Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the second annual Drovies. The only award show so delayed that it is nominating a trailer to a movie that is already out by the time this video is done. Again. Happy Easter, by the way. I am your host, RegRuptor105, and tonight we shall celebrate the best and worst that Paleo Media had to offer in 2023. The year before that was dominated by Prehistoric Planet and Jurassic World Dominion, but this time we have a much higher variety of different media to look at, from new documentaries to some truly terrible movies to even a few dinosaurs in video games. And of course, there's a shout out to Paleontology as well in the form of newly published dinosaurs or taxa and memes. While I asked some people for a few ideas, I assembled the categories and nominees mostly myself. So if you don't agree with what is and is not nominated, put all the blame on me. If you're wondering why I'm even bothering with this whole award show thing, it's for people like these commenters under the announcement video. People who have been introduced to paleo media they didn't even know existed prior. On that note, make sure to support the Kickstarter for Dinosaur Empire once that campaign launches. Like last year, you guys voted in a Google document. And I don't want to see anyone claim that this is just a Discord poll. I shared the link on YouTube and Twitter too, so if you didn't participate in the vote, then you don't get to complain. However, we did get only 1487 votes as opposed to 1826 last year. With 2024 looking like a quieter year in terms of paleo media, right now I'm not sure if there will even be enough content and interest to do another Dromies next year. So for now, I think we should just stick to reveling in what 2023 gave us. Once again, we have a total of 30 awards presented by fans, members of the paleo stream discord and various YouTube YouTube content creators. Thank you to everyone for making the time to participate in this. Oh, and as you can clearly see, we are not doing a Steamboat Willy gimmick. I regretted that suggestion pretty much immediately after publishing the announcement. Our first award will be presented by paleo artist Emily Stepp. Hi, it's me, Emily Stepp. Thanks for having me here. 2023 saw the publishing of a wide variety of new dinosaur genera from all clades of the dinosaur family tree, from sauropods to ceratopsians to theropods. And here are the nominees for Best Dinosaur. Jaculonychus. Dinatuatus. Jacarosaurus. Rakataceratops. And Gremlin. And the Dromi goes to... Gremlin? Yes, Gremlin. That is an actual dinosaur name and that is why it won. The next category is presented by Armin Reindel. Alright, so now that we've got the boring categories like Best Dinosaur, Ugh, so basic, out of the way, let's get into the interesting stuff. Best Non-Dinosaur Reptile. As always, you had to vote, and these are our candidates. Patrodactyl. Dentoneosuchus. Colossusuchus. Jormungandr. Vegapterygius. Now, the winner of this year's Dromi is... Drumroll please... Jormungandr! Yeah, I mean, let's call it Jormungandr. It's the World Serpent. Of course we were gonna vote for it. Very predictable. Well, on to the next one. On to the next one indeed, which will be presented by Henry the Paleo Guy. Many new mammal taxa were described in 2023, with a good number of them being cetaceans. But there are other, two non-cetacean mammals which were also included for the nominations. So, with that clarifies, here are the nominees for Best Mammal. Eoarctos Hurricane Nihohai Perisetus and Tootsetus. And the Dromy goes to... Perisetus. Unsurprisingly, one of the biggest landslide victories of the night. 
We now enter the Paleo Twitter sphere with Scanova the Carnotaurus. Hello everyone, we all like our memes, and memes in paleo media have been about as fun and chaotic as you'd expect, especially during 2023. I'm not exaggerating when I say that I could have seen any of the nominees today taking the victory. They're all so good. It's been such a good year for jokes and good fun. Again, sorry Spinosaurus fans, but your favorite dinosaur is too ethereal to qualify for this category. My apologies. Now then, time to greet the nominees. Sasocaris Shrunken Dunkleosteus Sacabambaspus The Trend of Weird Birds And Allosaurus Fighting Everybody And the winner is... Shrunken Dunkleosteus I agree with Scanova that every single one of these memes was good enough to deserve the win. The Paleo Twitter discourse gets saucier with Alaska anime. Hey, it's your boy, Alaska anime, also known as Raven, here to present the Dromi Award for Saltiest Paleontology Fan. 2023 saw a lot of online buzz around newly published scientific papers and new streaming documentaries. But like with anything, where there's hype, there's sure to be gripe, and not everyone was happy with certain findings or depictions of their favorite prehistoric critter. So here we have the nominees for Saltiest Paleontology Fans. Therizinosaurus fans, after its claws, turned out to be weak and not useful for attacking. Dunkleosteus fans, after it got downsized and chunkified. Hadrosaur fans, after prehistoric planet. T-Rex fans, after prehistoric planet. And finally, Terror Bird fans, after life on our planet. And the Dromi Award goes to... Uncle Osteus fans! Now people who say science ruined dinosaurs can also say the same about Devonian era fish. Personally, I say, don't diss the dunk, long live the chunk. The next category is presented by paleo artist Joshua Knüppel. And this brings us to our next category. Best Monkey Cruise Piece of the Year. 2023 didn't yield as many paintings as 2022, but we had still enough for a ranking. For those who aren't aware, Monkey Cruise is an ongoing series of paintings in which we explore extinct primates depicted in compositions that are reminiscent of classic positions from art history. In our ranking this time we have Nakali Pithecus, Judas slaying Holofernes. Dolica Cebus, Adoration of the Christ Child. Circo Piticoides, Saint Sebastian. Australopithecus, Wanderer over the Sea of Fog. And Meganthropus, Creation of Adam. And the winner is. Not Judas slaying Holofernes? Are you f <laughs> kidding me? Look at it! Who in their right mind would not go for f <laughs> Judas killing f <laughs> Holofernes? Do you even know the story behind the original? That it was painted by Artemisia Gentileschi, one of the few women painters of its time. That Holofernes here is actually based on the likeness of the man who <laughs> Not to mention that from a purely painterly perspective, my homage turned out better than the rest of the batch, in my humble opinion. Anyway, the winner of this year's poll is Meganthropus, Creation of Adam. Well done, everyone. Thank you, Joshua. We move on to the prehistoric planet section with our first presenter, Tim. Ah, prehistoric planet. We can all remember our excitement when Season 2 was first announced. Without further ado, let's take a look at the five nominees for Best Episode. Islands 
Badlands. Swamps. Oceans. And North America. And the Dromi goes to... Islands. Very close race. A personal favorite as well. My personal favorite was Swamps, which came in fourth. But anyway, our next category is presented by the one and only Levi van der Veen. And now we are moving on to the category of Best Soundtrack in Prehistoric Planet Season 2. The contestants are... Isosaurus Tarbosaurus and Velociraptor Phosphorosaurus World of Ammonites and Pectinodon. And the winner is... Huh. Tarbosaurus and Velociraptor. Oh, my music taste is shit or you're all wrong. Okay, that's kind of awkward. I probably shouldn't have included it there, but well, on to the next award, presented by the man who did Skibbity Toilet before it was popular, Bobby Wasabi. While 2022 wasn't as big a year for Paleo Media, Prehistoric Planet still returned to amaze and inform audiences with dinosaurs based on the latest information. One of the most exciting parts of any Paleo documentary are the hunt sequences, and Prehistoric Planet isn't short on exciting hunt scenes. Here are the nominees for Best Hunt in Prehistoric Planet. Hatsigopteryx and Tethyhadros Amparabator and Morosaurus, Rajasaurus and Isosaurus, Tyrannosaurus and Ammonosaurus, and last but not least, Nanukasaurus and Ornithomimus. And the winner for Best Hunt in Prehistoric Planet is... Hatsigopteryx and Tethyhadros. Giant pterosaurs truly are my sleep paralysis demons. The following category is presented by the one and only Best in Slot. The babies of Prehistoric Planet are heartbreakingly adorable. Unfortunately, that means you spend half the time with your fingers crossed, hoping they won't be snapped up by whatever hungry dinosaur is lurking nearby. And they always are. <laughs> These are the nominees for the Best Babies in Prehistoric Planet. Velociraptor, Isosaurus, Ammonites, Pectinodon, Nanuksaurus, and the Dromi goes to Isosaurus. The babies are lucky that this year there wasn't enough carnage for a baby murderer category. The next award is presented by Spino Dude. The beloved females of film aren't always in human form. In this case, they're scaly, fluffy, and slippery? <laughs> The lovely ladies of Prehistoric Planet have made quite the impression on the community once again. Here are the nominees for Best Girl. Majungasaurus Adolatherium Karukala Phosphorosaurus Nanoxaurus. And the Dromi goes to... Majungasaurus. 
That slippery comment was kinda sus, not gonna lie. The following category is presented by Dinosaurs and More. Prehistoric Planet is a documentary known for many things, but it is most well known for the Giga Chads that they grace our eyes with. But these are the most Giga of the Giga Chads. Hatsagopteryx. Austroraptor. Bialzabufo. Pachycephalosaurus. And Triceratops. And the Dromy goes to. Bialzabufo. The next category is presented by myself. Thank you. If there's one theme that we've seen more of in Prehistoric Planet Season 2 than Season 1, it's the theme of working together. Whether you need to form a lifeboat or harass the local dinosaurs, you can always count on a bro to help out. Doesn't matter whether it's your actual sibling or just another member of your species. Here are the nominees for Best Bros. Improbator Tatia Tyrannosaurus Ammonites And Quetzalcoatlus and the Dromi goes to... Tachia. Like Vin Diesel says, never turn your back on family. Our next presenter is Impulse, who once again made an elaborate animation that I will not show here because it highlights how terrible my editing is in comparison. With the arrival of Prehistoric Planet 2, we got to see a lot of new creatures and dinosaurs. Yep. Dinosaurs, what we're all here for. Okay, let's get to the bowling already. Now, riddle me this, Batman. Who would be the biggest dino bully? That's a Gopterix. Sumazukus. That's Soya. Belzebufo. Quetzalcoatlus. Our winner is... Quetzalcoatlus. Thank you, Impulse. I will show your full video at the end of the show, after the credits, because your artwork is too precious to not be seen by the masses. We move on from Prehistoric Planet to NHK's Amazing Dino World 2 with Akira Raptor from the Deep Time Podcast. Hello, podcastlers, and welcome to the Dromi Award for Best Dinosaur Design in Amazing Dino World 2. The nominees are... Mype Macrothorax Puertasaurus Bahadasaurus Imperobato and Steguros And the winner is Mype Macrothorax Obviously no surprises there. We now enter the Life on Our Planet section of the awards with Paleo Nerd. Hello everyone, Paleo Nerd here, and I must say it's an honor to be part of this year's Dromies. 2023 was quite the year for dino documentaries. Not only did we get a second season of Prehistoric Planet that was just as good, if not better, than the first one, but we also got another big budget Paleo documentary with high quality CGI and a famous host. 
I'm, of course, talking about Dinosaur with Stephen Fry. Oh, and Life on Our Planet too, I guess. Life on Our Planet was at least unique in that it did not focus on just dinosaurs, but animals from the Paleozoic and Cenozoic as well, which are criminally underrepresented in media. Out of the eight episodes released, five were nominated. Episode 2, The First Frontier. Episode 3, Invaders of the Land. Episode 5, In the Shadow of Giants. Episode 6, Out of the Ashes. And Episode 7, Inheriting the Earth. And the Dromi for the best episode of Life on Our Planet goes to... The First Frontier. Looks like the giant Orphacon crushed the competition. Our next category is presented by Mega Raptor. Life on our planet left the community with quite polarizing impressions about its prehistoric scenes, yet some of them managed to extremely stand out. With that, let's take a look at the nominees for Life on our planet best prehistoric segment. Camarocerus Hunt Atropleura Courtship Gorgonopsid Hunt Plateosaurus Emergence Smilodon playing with Dodicurus And the Dromi goes to Smilodon playing with Dodicurus What a curious cat Curiosity usually kills the cat, but not this time. The next category is presented by myself again. I'm noticing a pattern here, but anyway. Despite encompassing all of prehistory, the majority of life on our planet visualizes the evolutionary advantages of the various animal dynasties through gorgeous nature footage of contemporary animals. Here are the nominees for best modern day segments. Strawberry dart frog parental care. Desert lizard fight and Termite War. Kangaroo Vet vs. Sidewinder. Snow Leopard Family Tragedy. And the Dromi goes to... The Desert Lizard Fight. Our next category is presented by Yeetmaster, I guess? That was not a question, that is the actual username they gave me. Life on Our Planet is a show with some genuinely good highlights, but also has some atrocious low points. For this award, we will be going over the moments that made the average Paleo fan question what the hell was in front of them. These are the nominees for Life on Our Planet's biggest blunder. We're using ILM assets from Jurassic World. Episode 1 being a superfluous introduction. Wistrosaurus being too dumb to live. Smilodon outcompeting Terror Birds. And one cave lion taking down a teenage mammoth. And the Dromi for Life on Our Planet's biggest blunder goes to. We're using ILM assets from Jurassic World. Allosaurus had never seen such bullshit before. We now move on to our award for Paleopines, presented by VTuber Lofo Lee. Welcome to Paleopine, a game where prehistoric creatures roam in a peaceful world of friendly villagers. Shall we see who the nominees are? The Stachysaurus. Dinochirus! Tanakosaurus! Starachosaurus! Therizinosaurus! And the Dromi goes to... 
Pistachiosaurus. A very interesting choice indeed. Although I am more of a Staracosaur kind of guy myself, I do appreciate how they managed to put both a cute design as well as it reflecting our current understanding of this animal. Good job! Thank you Lofo. Our next category is also a dinosaur game, so I should probably get another dinosaur game content creator. Let's see if Gaming Beaver is interested. Hello Beaver! Could you do another guest appearance at the Dromies this year? I better be getting paid for this one! I never received my check for the last one! What? No, I was just asking for a little favor. You know how hard it is to play dinosaur wait, games Beaver, all day? Wait, Beaver, calm down! Wait, Beaver, stop! Beaver, stop! Wait, wait! wait. Ah! Jurassic World Evolution 2 has had many DLCs over the years, but which dinosaur out of all of them received the best glow up? These are the nominees for Best Dinosaur Design in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Eutoranus Dinochirus Gigantoraptor Eutoraptor Concabinator And the winner is... Utah Raptor! Thank you, Gaming Beaver. The culture of him stays relevant with Claire that Saurian. We are now moving from the good paleo media of 2023 to the bad paleo media of 2023. And our first presenter is the one and only Evolution Square. I have been given the questionable honor of presenting the award for Most Cursed Visual. Dinosaur, with Stephen Fry, failed so spectacularly at being a dinosaur documentary, it became an unintentional comedy. Its only value is the entertainment value in seeing it as a parody of paleo media. And for your entertainment, here are the five nominees for Most Cursed Visual in Dinosaur, with Stephen Fry. The Hatchet Jaw Allosaurus Theropod Skull Musculature The Real Velociraptor Stolen Ark Survival Models And The Guardian rating it 4 stars And the Dromi goes to... Theropod Skull Musculature Allosaurus had never seen such fucking bullshit before. The next category is presented by the one and only Idaphosaurus. In 2023, Paleo Media was finally rescued from the Jurassic World monopoly by the smash hit blockbuster 65. Is what I would say if 65's directors have put even the slightest amount of thought into their creature designs. Here are the nominations for the worst creature design in 65. The Lanky Lagosuchus. The Weird Eyed Pterosaur. The Toothy Oviraptor The Papo Rex And whatever the hell this thing is And the winner is Everybody's favourite totally real dinosaur The Fasola Rawinotosuchus Quadrex 
Dear commenters, stop telling me it's a Fasula Sukis if you don't have any confirmation from a crew member who directly worked on the movie. Your fandom wikis are meaningless. The 65 beatdown continues with digital dinosaurs. In my humble opinion, 65 was easily one of the worst blockbuster films of 2023. At a truly dreadful dinosaur movie, there were multiple factors contributing to my negative reaction, which include a disjointed plot, dreadful pacing, uninteresting characters, fucking boring action scenes, and a complete aversion to any potentially innovative ideas. And, in regards to that latter category, here are the nominations for the biggest missed opportunity in 65. Be more accurate to the real late Cretaceous. Make the protagonists non-human aliens. Make the protagonists human time travellers. Have more herbivores. And set it in the Triassic. So, out of all of those concepts which would have led to a far more interesting film, the biggest missed opportunity in 65 is... Be more accurate to the real late Cretaceous. Wow, what a specific set of suggestions! It's almost like a certain 65 review was supposed to come out before the Dromi Awards would go live. Anyway, the next category is presented by Dilophosaurus and Shamu. Good evening, everyone. In this award category, we'll be diving into Meg 2, The Trench. Some say it's a messy monster fest, while others say it's a misunderstood masterpiece. Either way, we can all agree that some moments of the film really jump the shark. The nominees for the most unrealistic part in Meg 2, The Trench are... The Snappers. A Megalodon eating a T-Rex. Wu Jing taming a Megalodon. Jason Statham free diving at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. And Jason Statham impaling the Megalodon in a head-on collision. And the winner for the most unrealistic part in Meg 2 The Trench is... Megalodon eating a T-Rex. When it comes to the clash of two predators, this means vor. Everyone can guess themselves how they want to spell vor. We now have an award for I am T-Rex, the Chinese speckled Cetabosaurus ripoff that people keep asking me to torture myself with. The award is presented by Zaragoz Rex. Hello, hello everyone, an honor to be here, truly. Now, one of the things that makes I Am T-Rex one of the more, shall we say, interesting pieces of paleo media we've had for 2023 are its rather unique name choices for its characters. Without further ado, here are the nominees for the worst character name. Cue the Smash Brothers music. Jarrett. Mr. Ben? Big Dan! Fang! Are they allowed to use that name, like, legally? Crew! And the drummy goes to... Mr. Ben! Honestly, his name might actually be just Ben, but Jared calls him Mr. Ben, so that's the name I am going with. The next category is presented by Crook Pro the Spinosaurus. These usernames, man, I just can't. The year 2023 offered a wide variety of different antagonists throughout paleo media. A funny coincidence is that many of these had some sort of facial scar. Now, without any further ado, here are the nominees for Best Villain with Facial Scar. Mape from Amazing Dino World 2. Whatever this thing is from 65. The Majongasaurus from Prehistoric Planet 2. Apex from Mech 2 The Trench. And finally, Fang from I Am T Rex. And the Dromi goes to. The Majongasaurus! The spirit of Vonai the T Rex lives on in you.
Now we have arrived at the final two awards of the night. And just like last year, before we end the Dromies on a high note, we have to take out the trash first. Here are the nominees for Worst Paleomedia of the Year. Sixty-five. Dinosaur with Stephen Fry. Mag Two: The Trench. Goodbye Volcano High. I am T-Rex. And the dromy goes to Dinosaur with Stephen Fry. Yes, even in a year that saw the most inaccurate Hollywood dinosaurs of the 21st century and a Chinese ripoff of Speckles the Tarbosaurus, Dinosaur with Stephen Fry managed to be such a failure of a documentary that it won over half of all votes. But now we can finally close out the show with the award for the best paleo media of 2023. Here are the nominees. Prehistoric Planet Season 2 Life on our planet Paleo Pines Soria Blood for Blood by David James Arby The Hatchling by Tim Cianfano And uh, I have to go open the envelope for that And I will here it comes. And may I see Resort Planet? Yes! Yes, John Favreau, David Edinburgh. What happened? Wow. That was even more one sided than last year's Resort Planet sweep. Guess Alive on Our Planet really dropped the ball. Anyway, with that, this year's Dromies are officially finished. Once again, thank you to all the fans and content creators who took the time to participate in this. And sorry for procrastinating so much. I wish you all happy 2023 and we will see what the rest of the year will bring. Goodbye. <laughs> And here they are, the Draw Me Award winners, finally. This video was a chore, it's over. I can finally rest now and celebrate the Draw of year 2024. Wait! Ah! <laughs> I want to give a special shout out to Dr. Harrison, whose part I replaced with myself because I felt like I wasn't present enough in the video. Thanks for having me! And as promised, here is the presentation by Impulse that is honestly way too good and high effort for this video. With the arrival of Prehistoric Planet 2, we got to see a lot of new creatures and dinosaurs. Yep, dinosaurs. What we're all here for. Okay, let's get to the bowling already. That Soya lands fifth by landing with Shika's jugular. And it's not even the lethal part. Ah, uh, that's a Gopterix, my beloved. In fourth place, filling the niche most important to any paleo documentary. In third place, we have Belsa Buffo breaking more baby dinos. Damn, she could really got the raw end of the deal here, huh? If Carno had a dance of love, Sumozukus has a dance of war, which lands him second. 
Next time, call the bluff earlier, Majunga. Now, riddle me this, Batman. Who would be the biggest dino bully? Well, the one that bullies the biggest dino, of course. Our winner is... Quetzalcoatlus.